If you're looking to be a little bit more specific about the things you want to track, I would look for a widget called Hot Sheets. Now, Hot Sheets is going to be the same idea as Market Watch, but it's really being more specific. Maybe I don't care about all the new listings and all the solds and all the expireds. Maybe I just want to watch, like, let's say, expired listings in a specific area. I don't need all this stuff in Market Watch. Well, you look for a widget called Hot Sheets, and you'll see that all the property types and matrix are in here. These you have to go in and customize. So they're all in here. You can either use one of these that are already in the list or you can add your own if you want to. And you also have the ability to set different time frames for your hot sheets if you'd like. So there's a couple ways to do this. I can go to customize and when I do that, I can take one of the property types and I can edit the criteria for what I want to see in my hot sheet here. Or I can add my own, choose the property type I want to watch, and then give it a specific name if I want to. So do you want to just have a residential hot sheet or do I want to go in and add my own? It's up to you. Probably what I would recommend is to add your own because that way you can control what it is called. So I'm gonna go ahead in here and say add, and you'll pick the property type that you wanna watch. So let's say residential, and then you can give it a specific name. So let's say we wanna go in and watch uh, some Polk County expired listing. So I can call it whatever I want, and I can click on save, and you will see now it is part of your list here. But I'm not done. Just by me typing in Polk County expired, that's not actually watching expired listings in Polk County yet, because I have to go in and edit the criteria and tell the system what I want to see. So I'm gonna go ahead and click here on edit criteria, and I choose what I wanna see, because remember here I'm being more specific. I'm choosing what I wanna see. Now I could do one or two of these things if I want to, three. If I hold down my control button, I could select more than one. But let's just say I'm going to stick, uh, make it really nice and easy, expired listings, and I'm going to put it in Polk County. I can use any of the searching tools that I have in Matrix. I could use the map if I wanted to. I could draw a circle around a specific area if I wanted to. I could specify a certain price range if I want to. But once again, don't be too specific here. So I'm just going to say Polk County expires, and then I click on Save. And I can always change this later on. You're not stuck. And when I click on done here, it's going to take me back to the home page. So I've plugged in the criteria for what I want to see in that hot sheet. Now I, I happen to use one of the ones that I named here. So I could specify the time frame I want to use first. So I could go back 24 hours, today since midnight last night, three days, seven days. I could specify a custom time frame if I wanted to. Uh, this session since I've logged into Matrix. You've got different time frames. Most people leave it set for 24 hours, but you could change it. And when I click on it, it's gonna say, well, based on your criteria, here are all of the properties that have expired in the last 24 hours. And that's that easy. That's it. Now you can have up to 10 of your favorite hot sheets on your homepage in the widget. If you ever need to make a change right here on your homepage, okay, you can go in to customize and you can find your hot sheet in the list. Remember, I can edit the criteria for these. I can always change it. I can always reset it. And the ones that I've created, I can actually go in and delete if I want to. Okay. Your hot sheets will also live under the My Matrix and Settings tab here. So if I go to My Matrix and Settings, I will also see my hot sheets here. And it takes me to the same place. So on your homepage, look for hot sheets. Customize, tell the system what criteria you want to use for that hot sheet. And then once you put it in there, you're done. All you have to do in the future is specify your time frame. If you want to change that, click on it. And this will automatically apply that criteria to the MLS and show you what has changed within that time frame. That's it. That's it. Okay, so good luck with these and use your hot sheets widget.